thought I'd show you my cucumber plants. There's one here and I have another one over here. Lots of flowers. And I've even got some little baby cukes starting. Uh, there's one right over here. And there's a couple more here. There's uh, one going right there. And there's one going right over there. And then the big daddy. Here's the big daddy right here. Look at this thing, huh? So he's getting about ready to be picked, I think. It'll be ready to, to harvest. But I just wanted to show you the uh, plants and show you how the uh, leaves are growing. And I think it looks terrific. After looking at my cucumber plants, uh, you might wonder, how do you make a plant in a bucket? How do you do this? What do you need? I've got in front of me just about everything you need, including the uh, potting mix. Not potting soil, but potting mix. So, okay, let's go over what you need. You need a bucket. You can buy these buckets of Lowe's. It's about five gallons, okay? And you're going to need three. I have three... Um, milk cartons that I've saved and these three milk cartons are going to go in the bottom of this container like that and then while I'm at Lowe's it's so nice down there I had them cut me a piece of PVC pipe approximately 20 inches it could be 18 it could be 19 20 is fine cut it off in the end and I just file this off so there are no little specks getting in the water you don't want any of that getting in the water now what I do is, there's a couple of ways you can do this. You can stick this pipe in here like this and fill the dirt in. Or you can take one of these containers and put the pipe in here like that. Now notice that the pipe has a little uh, opening to it. You don't want water getting in here or dirt getting in here. So what I would do is take some electrical tape or some um, any kind of tape or any kind of uh, material you use to seal a uh, duct tape. My duct tape will work fine. So just seal this off and this is the way I do mine and I put it in here like this and notice that this sticks up on the bucket. This is where you're going to put your water in. I put water into my pipe here about once every three days. That's all I have to do. Okay. So now you're wondering, what are, what are the other things you have to do? I brought this file up because this is the, <laughs> this is the file I use. When I get, this is the file I use to clean off. Uh, when I get this back from Lowe's, I just clean this off so I get all the little pieces so they don't go in the, uh, go in the water. So Anyway, so that's the file. Now, you're going to need, and this is kind of important, you're going to need uh, two drills and if I put this next to my ruler here, I think you can see approximately the size of this. This is like, I think it's three eighths or something like that. And this is a little bit larger. This is, this is three eighths. This is one eighth, I believe. Uh, two, one, two, three, four, yeah, one eighth. This is one eighth, and I believe this is around three eighths. You're going to have to drill some holes. Now, the first holes you're going to drill are in the three milk containers, and you're going to drill them right about a heat, right about here. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, and do it to all three of them. Okay. And then you're going to get down to the bottom and go around and do the same thing here. So the wa what the idea is, the water gets in here, it goes all the way up to here, and it stops right about here. And once the water stops right about here, it leaves air from here up. And you need oxygen to help the plants grow. If you put just all water in there, <laughs> the hydroponic thing doesn't work too well if you don't have any oxygen for your plants. So, uh, this seems to work great. So now you've got your holes in here and you've got your all your holes in here 
what size I said, I think it said it was what, uh, an eighth or something like that. You want a small one like this. Here's the idea about this drill. It wants to let water in, but keep soil out. So it has to be large enough to let the water get in, but small enough so all the soil, because this is going to be useless if this thing all fills with soil, no water will get in here, and you won't be able to water, you know, water, you're not going to get water into your plants. So you don't want uh, this filled up with soil. So if you use this kind of a drill on here, all the soil go in here and you throw the things out, it would be a waste of time. This drill, I said the, the, the holes were going to be about here. This drill, if we come over here to the, to the um, bucket, this drill is going to be about two or three inches below, and this is a drain hole. So what's going to happen is, if the water gets up above this drain hole, it's going to run out. And what you want to do is keep a space between here and here, which is where the oxygen will stay into the uh, containers and stay in here and give oxygen. So now I've got my drill. We're all ready to go. Put it up here. Put another hole over here. And then the bottom. We want to do the bottom now, down here. Let me see. I'll show you the bottom of this one here. We'll do this one, the bottom of this one. So now we've got the holes drilled up here and the holes drilled down here on all three of our milk cottons. We're almost done. The second one in, the third one in. Now, well, I've got the third one out here. I know approximately I want to drill my drain hole right there. The other thing I want to do is make sure that my drain hole, if my drain hole is over here, I want to make sure that this fill hole is over here on this side. So don't put the drain hole over on this side. I mean the fill hole on this side. Put the fill hole over on that side and then put the drain hole over on this side. Now, I'm just going to double check, make sure. I'm noticing my holes are right around here. Okay. And so I might even go a little bit lower. I think I'm going to put my drain hole at the bottom of the circle right here so I know where to put uh, the hole. Put my drain hole right down here in the bottom right about here. Done. So to seal this uh, container up here, I've got some stuff called coax seal, and you can buy it from amateur radio operator uh, stores. Um, any amateur radio store probably has it. I probably have it on Amazon too. Who knows? So I'm going to cut a piece about this long and. Uh, I'm going to put it around the outside neck so that um, this stays uh, nice and nice and firm. So I'm going to peel off the peel this off, and then I'm going to take this and wrap it around the it getting in to the uh, container. So I'll put this across from the hole and the hole is right here so I'm gonna put this drain hole on the other side and now we're gonna put some dirt in here and we'll be ready to go set that in soil and when I say soil I mean putting mix don't get anything but potting mix. I won't bore you with the filling out. We'll stop here and come to when we're done filling. When we're done. I'm going to stop right about there. Was I don't want to put uh, too much, too much in there. So I'm going to stop right about there. Whoops. <laughs> and I'm going to move this around in the bucket. Push it around a little bit on the sides. 
so that it uh, goes in there all right and and if you look at this that's about as much as I want to put in and then I'm going to put my plant in here now I would strongly suggest if you're using tomatoes or squash or something like that just put one plant because if you put more than one plant uh, it's not going to be as healthier. I had one with two plants over there, two squash plants. Eh, but once I learned my lesson, these other plants that are over here, the cucumber plants, there's only one plant in each bucket, and I get tremendous, they're, they're growing great. So anyway, okay, now the important part. Now we've got it filled up just above, or just below the bottle caps in here. If you can look in here, you can see We've got the bottle cap showing. Now, Leon, who's the guy, the genius of all this stuff, he's got a great website. I'll put a link to his website down below, and you can go and look at it. But he's now going to put all the fertilizers and everything that needs to help all these plants grow. And let me tell you what he's got. For a five-gallon bucket, I'm going to need sustain. I'm going to need two teaspoons, tablespoons, excuse me, two tablespoons of this sustain, and this is natural mineral salt, I need one tablespoon of that, and one tablespoon of gypsum, and I need one tablespoon of, uh, of lime, of garden lime, I'm going to need a tablespoon of this, and then I'm going to need a tablespoon of Epsom salts. So you sprinkle all this in here, and after you sprinkle them all, I'm not going to bore you with me sprinkling it in, you know what it is. Uh, then we will add the we will add the plant and add the soil. Okay, I'm just finishing up and doing the Epsom salts, which is the last one. And you can see everything that's in the uh, container here. And uh, it's ready to go. So next thing I have to do is put the dirt back in here to the top and then we'll be ready to put a plant in and then I gotta put a dirt all around it and then uh, I'll pull this plant out and stick it in the hole and we'll be golden. Got the soil up around the top. This is all set to go now. A uh, little note of caution here. Before watering your plant for the first time, pour one gallon of water into the PVC pipe insert. Then they say to use a wooden dowel rod into the PCV pipe. Remove and mark the one gallon mark where the water line is and follow with a second gallon of water. Remove and mark the line and so on until the water starts to run out of the hole in the bottom this hole we have over here <laughs> and uh, then you'll have an idea of where the watermark is to fill it without having it run out all over the place all the time I try to you put this somewhere I put it out here in the in the uh, lanai and I let I water it till I see a little water come out and then I stop and that seems to work pretty good for me but you might want to do this too so it says uh, till the water starts to run out of the hole on the bottom. Okay, now, before next watering, insert dull rod and see how many gallons you need to water with to be sure to fill the bottom of the tub with water until it starts to run out at the time of planting. And also water plants from the top, top for a couple of weeks. So put some water up here on the top for the first couple of weeks. And then after that, you'll just put the water in here and that's all you'll have to do, so. But all of this is available on Leon's site, and you can go there, and uh, all of this is, information is available. He'll talk to you on the phone. He's a great, great guy. He's the guy that got me started doing this, as I mentioned earlier, um, and it really works great. You want this pipe on a 45-degree angle, so if it was just cut like this, I put it on the bottom, and it might not let the water go in. That's it. Uh, 
so two gallons usually two gallons in here and then water at the top and watch the hole to make sure you don't flood your hole <laughs> well not enjoy this works great i love this idea and again as i mentioned earlier I've, i'll put the links down to leon he's the guy you want to talk to and watch and and uh and watch his videos too he's very good but i thought you'd like to see one from start to finish um and i try to keep it simple so hopefully you could follow it it's pretty simple i think <laughs>